Hi, this is Sean with OMU Energy. Today we're going to show you how to do a HEPA filter swap in your Tesla Model X. We offer an upgraded HEPA filter through our website at omu.com and our filter is really cool because one, it meets HEPA standards of 99.97% filtration at uh, 0.3 micrometer uh, particulate. So that's cool. And then we've got MERV 16 rating as well. One of the things that we did a little differently than Tesla is uh, our filter pleats are tighter. So there's more surface area uh, for, for air to pass through. And then we also added a totally separate section on the back which is an activated charcoal section, which helps to polish some of the some of the smells and odors out of the air, uh, which is which makes your air quality even better. So the installation process for this filter, we're going to remove the everything in the front to get to the big black uh, filter housing that holds the HEPA filter. There, the factory filter usually has some glue on the sides, so we're going to have to tear that out and remove that filter. Uh, and then we're going to reuse the housings. We're going to reuse the big plastic part and slide this filter into it. Um, that's actually something that's important to us because we really believe in uh, reducing waste. And so we, when we saw the Model X and the way that Tesla was doing it, uh, as well as the Model S, we decided that was why we want to get involved with making filters in the first place, which was to create a filter that doesn't require this whole assembly to be thrown away like theirs. Um, so getting our filter uh, saves you from throwing out this big plastic assembly just to swap the filter itself. So we're actually gonna reuse the big plastic assembly and uh, just put the new filter into it. And then from there on out, you won't have, you'll just be able to slide filters out and put new ones in, which you should do about every two years if you really wanna have good air quality. I think in some, uh, more polluted areas or more dusty areas, even maybe once a year is probably not a bad idea. Uh, it's definitely a good idea when you get to your first 12 volt battery swap and you need to put a battery in there and hopefully you're, you're upgrading and doing your home home lithium battery. Uh, at that time, it's a great idea to do the filter because it's in the same area and it's part of the process is already done for you. So you can find our filter at omu.com and uh, here we go, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So the only tool you really need is a 10 millimeter socket wrench. Uh, I like to attach it to a cordless drill to make things go quicker. And then another tool that's nice to have is um, a, a swivel for your socket because there's a couple of bolts down in the corners that are just easier if you've got a, a wrench like this or a, a drill like this, it's easier to put that on there and get down to those corners. So we're gonna take the plastic trim off, then we're gonna pull the carpet out, and then we're gonna remove all of the bolts the tub will come out, that's the plastic tub, and then right behind it is the filter assembly, and that will take out, and then we'll show you how to, to swap that out and put the other filter into it. Here we go. We'll take these trim pieces off, the top comes off, then the side two, then the bottom two. They just pull up, so you'll, you'll just get your fingers under the corner and yank up. They all just pop into place. There are no, no bolts or nuts to remove or screws. Now we'll pull the carpet liner out. At the front of the carpet liner, you'll find two LEDs which need to get unplugged. Now we've got the carpet liner out. The next step is to tuck these uh, wires into their slots so you don't accidentally pull on them too much while you're removing the tub and then remove all of the 10 millimeter bolts in the tub.
display these last two corner ones. This one's nice to put on the swivel if you have it. Once all the bolts are removed, you can leave them in the tub. I would shift them all to one side so that you can uh, get it out and not necessarily have them fall potentially. Then lift the tub up. Now that you've got the tub out of your way, there is your filter. And you can see on this one, really dirty. Uh, this is Arizona. We have a dusty climate here for sure. And so cars get their, their filters get dirty fast. So we'll just lift this out. That's all it takes. It's not secured in any, any way besides being secured to the front tub. So you just lift that out, take it outside of the vehicle. Uh, if you're doing a 12 volt battery swap, you could vacuum this if it's still in really good shape. Like it's only been a few months or something since you, since you did the filter. Uh, but right to now today, we're going to actually remove this filter from the housing and we're going to swap it out. So now we'll remove the filter from the housing. On this particular one, they put a fair amount of their adhesive around the edges. So we'll actually use a utility knife and just go around the edge to help loosen it up. Once you've done that, you can use this gap here in the back to help push the center out. On some of these, they just put a little glue on the edges. They're pretty easy to just rip out without any extra tools. Sometimes they really glued them in tight. Uh, this one's got glue all the way around the edge. So we're going to use a utility knife to help. Try to get, get some space in between the edge and the filter and then you'll see a seam inside with glue. Use your utility knife to slice that seam. You're gonna have to do that around all of the edges. got the edges loose, you can push, pull the top down, and then tear the filter out. You may have to bring the knife back in to loosen it up. Once you put a slice down the center at the top, then it's easier to pull away the other edges. Okay, now we got the filter loose and we're gonna throw that to the side. Knock the dirt out. If there's some stuff left behind to clean up, you can use your knife to pull it out. Now that you've got the filter out of its housing, uh, we can go ahead and put the filter housing back in place without a filter for now. Then bring in our filter, set that down inside of the housing, and then slide it in. You'll feel the foam around the edge, fills in the gap, and uh, now you're good to go. We'll reverse the process and reinstall everything, and then your filter has been replaced.
when you bring the tub in, just, just try to eyeball that, so that most of these are straight. You can start them by hand. These back bolts go into the filter housing, actually. And so they can, they can move a little bit. So we'll put a few in loosely. And then on the front, you want to make sure you pull these wires through the tub. Now we can grab our, our uh, cordless and, and secure all of these. Plug in the two LEDs in the front. And then secure the carpet by pushing down and then underneath the rubber. Now we'll secure the plastic trim, front piece on first, then the sides, then the top. They're just going to push down and click into place. As you're securing the top, make sure you bring the first responder tag out front so that it's visible with the, uh, with the plastic trim in place. Now it's all good. Your Model X has a new HEPA filter and you should be breathing clean air for years. Thank you for watching our video today. We hope you learned some things and we could help you out with your vehicle. Uh, if you ever have questions or concerns, you can always go to our website, omu.com support and see some of our frequently asked questions answered there. We also have a video collection that you can look through and see if, uh, if, if, they are, if they're helpful for you. And of course, you can always reach out. We have live chat through the website, or you can email us at support at And as always, we appreciate you and enjoy your car.